Okay, so Shepherd, which is an, an eerie British chiller from Russell Owen. Tom Hughes is Eric Black, who is a man haunted by his past. He's lost his wife. He's overcome with grief. Also, he's wrestling with something more. He decides to accept a job as a shepherd on a remote island, which has a flock of sheep, a rundown house, an apparently deserted lighthouse, and uh, that's it. Now, recent movie history will tell you this isn't going to end well, right? I mean, you think of the 2016 film, The Lighthouse, they all get cabin fever in the midst of the Irish Sea. 2018 film, Keepers, or The Vanishing, in which very bad things happen around Gerard Butler. And then The Lighthouse, for which you interviewed Robert... No, Willem Dafoe, didn't I you? I did interview Willem Dafoe, who, which... was, who was very, very correctly and rightly pleased with the film, although I don't yeah. think he was a big fan of Mr Panson. I, th I, th I think that film is great. Anyway, if that's not eerie and creepy enough... He is then taken out to the island in a boat piloted by Kate Dickey as Fisher, who does not exactly give him the warmest welcome. Here's a clip. The old cottage. That's your home now. Gas lamps by the dozen inside. Plenty of firewood and fuel. There's a telephone for emergencies, though. Gets cut off by bad weather. It's easy to get lost here, so be warned. You've got your instructions in your map, so you'll be fine. So, uh, you're just leaving now? It's not my place here. When will you be back? I'll be back next Tuesday with supplies. Anything else you need, you'll let me know. Good. You've got some sheep to find. Best get to it, Mr Black. You'll not be short of chores here, that's for sure. I nearly forgot. A journal. Keep it safe. Good luck. Now, the first thing I should say is, I think Kate Dickey is one of the greatest screen actors of her generation. And the fact that she is in so many films, in so many different roles, that people quite often don't... Re like. So, for example, Green Knight. You saw Green Knight? I did. She's the Queen. OK, very and good. And she, everything she's in, she's brilliant. And in this... She's Sean Harris, is that right? Yeah, yeah, he's, well, the, king. he's the king, yeah, yeah. exactly. And... Um, She's just fantastic in this. She is just like one of those people just go, Kate, Kate Dickey, absolute corner pocket. It's going to be great. What's interesting about this film is that, I mean, obviously the story then follows the way you would think it to, that in this isolation, he starts to hear and see things. And the question is, how much of this is real? How much of it is in his mind? How much is anything happening natural or supernatural? You know, it's that classic isolation story. That is a familiar riff. The thing is that this film deals with that familiar riff rather well. Um, it's very hauntingly shot, Richard Stoddard, I think. There is a very eerie score by Callum Donaldson, which involves everything from sheep noises to didgeridoos. And this works in perfect harmony with the sound design with Edwin Matthews. It also helps that, um, along with Tom Hughes, you have a supporting cast that includes the likes of Kate Dickey and Greg Skaki. And so what you have is... OK, fine. I know this setup. I know this idea. I can sort of see what the film's antecedents are and where it's going. So what has to work is that it has to cast this particular spell well. And does it cast it well enough for me to be drawn in in a, in a fresh and new way? And the answer is it did. And again, and I, this kind of reminds me of what I was saying about Lapwing, I was surprised by how well it managed to do that because the atmosphere of the film is really tangible. I mean, you can feel the cold, you can feel the the loneliness, you can feel the island, you can, you know, you can smell the air of the island, which a lot of that is to do with the music, a lot of it is to do with the sound design. And then you've got this cast, which includes that caliber of actor. So I actually thought it was a pretty impressive piece of work. Yes, this is familiar. This is familiar territory, but it is trodden with confidence and with grace. And I really enjoyed it. It's called Shepherd. It is in cinemas now. Have you got a quick? Why is she? What? What, what makes Kate Dickey so good? In every single thing she's in, she she's the classic actor. She is a different person, a different character in everything she's in. It's not like here's the performance. We'll move it. Her her range is unending. It's, I mean, it's, she is a remarkable screen presence. I have never seen her give anything less than 110%. Even in the movies that she's been in, which the movies aren't great, she's always brilliant. So we should, I don't think she's been on the programme, even when we, I haven't interviewed her before. I interviewed her for the first time uh, a few weeks ago. 
and I've been trying to interview her for absolutely ages, but she's working all the time. I mean, one of the reasons it's very hard to get hold of it, she is working all the time because she's just great. I mean, I remember seeing Red Road all those years ago when I was in Cannes, and that was it became the kind of the the you know the big cause celebre of that year's can, and I think it comes down to this. You know, we've had this discussion before. But sorry, am I talking over? Should we have fun? Remember, we had this discussion before about the difference between an actor and a character actor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in America, if they say a character actor, what they mean is what we refer to as an actor. Okay, an actor plays a role, and when they play a role, instantly when I use actor, I mean male, female, male and female, male, yes. male, exactly. An actor inhabits a role and they become that part. It, a star or something else, like a movie star, is Tom Cruise. It's like in that thing when I said they might as well just call this film Tom Cruise because it's the other stuff doesn't make any difference. Well, Kate Dickey is the absolute embodiment of an actor. She thinks about every role, every no matter how big or how small, she commits herself to the role that she's doing and she does it in a way that that even though she's a very distinctive looking presence, it's possible to see four films with Kate Dickey and not realize you're watching the same person. And I think that's really something.